Okay, everybody, listen up. It's a sit-in. Right. The chancellor refuses to see us, so we're going to sit here outside his office until he comes out. I mean, frankly, I think the thing that's throwing you off here today is that it's the money thing. Um, all right, look, forget the money. Let's just bowl for fun, okay? Let's just bowl bowl. <laughs> Let's bowl. Bill, you're missing what's going on here. This is my big goddamn score, and you stuck your fat asses right in the middle of it. <laughs> I picked up my bag and waited by the door. Billy turned to my parents, whose jaws were about down to here, and Billy said, you never told me you had a mentally retarded child. No room at the inn. I mean, he's got a local show, but you can't book a satellite frequency to save your soul. He stuck mailing tapes up and down the Bible Belt, bicycling them like 10 years ago. The only way Mason Mather can get on the bird is to knock Billy Bob Proverb off of it. Hey, kid, would you like a Hershey bar? What are you talking about, pal? These shoes are brand new. He's got green, and, and, and he knows his wife, and Jewel. That's right, Pop. Hey, hey, what are you doing? Just speak up. Let me know it's getting too hot. <sighs> anyway, I know it sounds crazy, but I never even heard the guy's music. I mean, hell, I'm into Prokofiev. So. Nobody's gonna look at the bottom of a rock. Hi. Look, I, I cut the line. I don't even deserve to be here, so I'm just I'm just gonna go to the back, and I'll 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 see you in about forty minutes or oh, so. That Long, Jenny's mother. Come on. Oh, wait, look, look, look. It's her, uh, it's her little shopping list. She likes soap. That way! She went that way. I offered her my finest cut of beef and she snubbed me! Vegetarian bitch! He's not here, go away! It was very difficult for us when we were starting out. We had this horrible old manager who didn't understand what we were trying to do with our music. I know, I know. My daddy was a 10 foot Frankenstein freak with bolts in his neck. Hey, listen to this. It'll make you feel better. Up your nose with a rubber hose! Barbarino! Quit the show. What are you gonna do? Wait till you're down with Seinfeld in the middle of the pack? Nobody knows who you are? Come on, do it now. You're on top. You're number one. You can do anything you want. Let's go 180 on them. Yeah, things are pretty bad in China now, you know. <laughs> Which was like the former Soviet Union used to be. <laughs> Communist. Did I ever tell you I'm part Chinese? On my mother's side? Thank you. Thank you. Whoa! I thought Andy Warhol was dead. <laughs> no lights, no cameras. We're alone as you can see. So hey, why don't you cruise along with me? Yeah. Come on, let's go. Face it! Here's your lousy war! No, Britain. It's just I've got a headache. I don't think so. It's locked in his head. Is this what you want? You pitted us against each other like animals in a cage. For what? A silly late night talk show? Do you know what it is to feel? To love? I'm so sorry, but I've got this court reserved now. <laughs> Yeah, everything will turn out all right. You know, we'll take them down to the village, put them in a cauldron of water. They drown, we know they weren't witches. Oh. 99 bottles of beer on the wall. 99 bottles of beer. Oh, oh, oh. hey, hey, take a chill pill, Lurch. This guy's acting like I just installed electricity in his house. Don't worry, game's almost over. Okay, it's time to find out who's the bigger stud. Now, Jebediah, you and Noah both don't have any hearts, so the game's really up for grabs. Who'd you choose? Space, and we say it's a space suit, so there must be space, you know? So all around, space, all over, space, turn around, turn around. See, on, on Bo, she has space, space. What is the space? It is beautiful woman's space, you know? She's very feminine. Okay, okay, good. Yeah, this is a pretty routine call for Red Sea Beach, you know? We get these calls, I'd say, about six or seven times a week. Basically, some religious fanatics, you know, uh, claiming they're the chosen people, attempting to defy the laws of nature in some way. Go kill yourself. Don't waste my time. Don't worry. No one will miss you. Okay, we'll be back with more of your miserable calls right after this. <coughs> I gotta quit these things. Why in the house of General George Washington, of course. But who are you? And where do you come from? I'm in, 
No, 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 sure come on, do it. Seriously, do it. Come on, come over. You know what would be great? Get dressed up in the waiter outfit, come over, pour some water in a glass. It would blow her away. Well, let me tell you something. I've done it all. Any drug you can eat, I ate it. I've killed a man, and I'm not proud of it. And I got 12 years of hard time in the can to prove it. That's all right. You can get on, you little lizard king. <laughs> At Oliver Stoneland, we question authority. And I'm the amusing young friend who teaches them all about dandruff. Who did the president? Oh, man. It's a mystery wrapped inside a riddle, wrapped inside an enigma. Pearl Jam, pull the butt high! Hi, I'm Daniel Day-Lewis, and those of you who've seen Last of the Mohicans know that much of the plot consists of my character Hawkeye running from one place to another, running up hills, running across fields, through rivers, running, running. Hey fellas, gotta eat your greens! People come up to me on the street all the time and say, how dare you take money from hundreds of thousands of people and promise to make them happy? And I have to laugh. Because wasn't it worth taking all that money if I can make just one person happy? Even if that one person is me? Get in the car! For the last time, I'm not Frankenstein. I'm Frankenstein's monster. Now, come on, get in the no. car! Oh, hey, welcome to Club Frederick's One Minute Working On Out, two, three, four. I'm Frederick, and I'm here to tell you that working it on out and giving it everything you got, six, seven, eight, is for young and old alike. And here to prove it is the unflappable goddess of fitness, Andorra. Come on, you want to look nice, don't you? What are you doing here, huh? You ruined my chair. That's my chair, and it's ruined, all right? You want a chew toy? We get you a chew toy, okay? Because that's the way we do things here, booby. All right? And I'll tell you something else. I know it's you, Beethoven. Pie fits face, so throw it. Seltzer fits bottle, so spray your baby down. Floppy shoes fit feet, so wear them. And the dirty toes they adorn remind you of some clown you once knew in some hot tent long ago. Oh, well, I might advise off, both gentlemen to shut, shut their stinking traps collectively if they could hear me. Trap, Listen, I'm Art Lewater, and this has been Roundtable. Thank you for joining us. Good night. Holy sure scares the hell out of us. But that's life, isn't it? You have betrayed me, Sir Charles. Uh, well, uh, Henry's always been a fascinating uh, human being. Uh, he's a moral dilemma. I felt it would be a good chance to stretch some acting muscle and really get in there and kind of fight out some demons. You are happy. You don't look like a pathetic superboy with strange blonde hair. Huh? I think I, uh, I think I got a pretty good shot here. I mean, this is, uh, it's pretty intense stuff. So, uh, yeah, it's, uh... <laughs> Got your king, swords been pulled from the stall. Let's go home now, right? Everybody's got homes to go through. All right, break that's it up now. right? Yeah, that's great. I bust my hump 11 years. Some kid pulls a stick out of a rock, becomes my boss. <laughs> hey, there's some cough you got. All we need is five minutes of your time, please. You know, I think if we were dressed in hot spandex outfits and had earrings on and were looking really great, then that we'd have no problem here, right? You'd be rolling out the red carpet for us. Oh, well, this is a little something that Jessica and I have been working on called the Picomatic 2000. Wholly automatic solar-powered foot picker. Fix feet free of corn, wood slivers, pebbles, what have you. Or leaving your hands free to shoot flies away, smoke a pop, whatever. Remember our motto, the customer is always hungrier than they, they think, think they, they are. are. That's right, so get out there and sell, huh? I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm yeah. sorry, Gert, I'm, 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 I'm moving too fast. I know, I, I, I can go slower, really, I've done that too. Whatever your game is, Gert, I'll play it. I'm always meeting people, mostly women who've known loneliness who tell me how the beast has touched their lives. And to them I say thank you. And I remind them that I, unlike my character, do not live in a sewer. Nor have I ever lived in a sewer. Over the next seven days, Hard Edition kept an eye on Timmy, even tracking him down to this remote forest clearing. Warning, this footage may be a bit graphic for our younger viewers. Hard Edition felt compelled to share the story with the local community. Plus, my best-selling autobiography, Give Me Money, and the sequel, Give Me More Money. Ah! So, to get you started on the road to earning $5,000, I'll need $10,000. I'm sorry. That was the last time. I'm okay now. I'm really okay. <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> Hello? 
Yeah, what is it? You know, I don't care if she does 12 books of herself naked, okay? It doesn't... That's Dr. Zayas from Planet of the Apes. I eat success for breakfast with skim milk. Pounds are gonna fly, and fat is out of here, mister! And we are gonna do it together! Well, uh, wait a minute. I mean, you kids want to stay here, stick it out. All I need to do is uh, put an adult in charge, you know, put it on the responsibility clause for the insurance. So if anybody wants to do it, you know, I don't know who's been here the longest. Emotion. Girl just got stabbed in the ear with an ice pick. Duckman! The series is called Duckman. Your life is the most immoral show of all time. But even who's the boss had that one where Tony lied about his bowling score. So what are you going to do? Hmm? You could trouble me for a warm glass of shut the hell up. Now you will go to sleep, or I will put you to sleep. Check out the name tag. You're in my world now, Grandma. Shh! Little child speaks what we dare not say. I dare for you not to have me call you. I dare you! The adoption agency where you adopted me when I was a little baby, remember? <laughs> Uh, well, let's see. 18 cents a day times 365. $65.52. So you can see that is, uh, I mean, I'm no economist, but that is a load of dough. Because right, we do have the silver package. Nobody would know the difference. One caveat, though, that doesn't include spinning sauna or shower privileges, and that is enforced. <laughs> Idiot! <laughs> little fuzzy yellow creature! Oh, look at me. I'm so cute. I'm a little chick who's disgusting. God, I'm so stupid. How are you not yet extinct? Quick, 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 quick. What are you quacking about? Wait a minute. Are you telling me that instead of calling me, you had me fly up here so you could tell me to go straight back to the computer and then fly back again tonight? Cover yourself. Oh. Cover yourself. I just want to hear yours. You amuse me. Music, music, music. That's what it's about. I'm talking about. Why can't Why can't Pamela just walk in one day, belt it out, and sing it? Just in the middle of a show, for no reason whatsoever. We're talking. It's you and Bert. You and Bert. Boom, boom, boom. And then all of a sudden, boom. She pops out and she starts singing. Okay. I don't know what she's doing. Like an Ethel Merman. Oh, I love a parade or something like that. You turn around and a swimming pool opens up below everybody, and then we go right back into the scene. You never even make any mention of it. It's all unsaid. You know what that is? You know what that shit is? That's hot. Because I'm not good at saving money doesn't make me a bad person. Are, are you happy now? Look, I'm crying. Your little boy's crying like a little baby. Look, you want daddy? So, that's how you serve turkey. Uh, that's how you serve. That's how, that's how, man, if that's how you serve champagne, I'd love to see how you stuff a turkey. Well, as a Thai yogis, the first thing that attracted me was her animal spirit. Okay. Now, we all have animal spirits living inside us. And, for example, I'm a curious coyote, and uh, Helen is an unleashed cougar. No, there were six Backstreet Boys originally. I was the sixth, no, I was the first Backstreet Boy. It's not that I got kicked out exactly. Uh, it's more like I like to think that I threw them out of my band, but they retained the name. I'll tell you something, those Backstreet Bastards, those little Backstreet Bastards could not have laid this on them at a worse time. I mean, this came right on the heels of the liposuction mishap. All right, let's play some sand dollars there, Neptuna, my girl Neptuna. That's right, she ain't doing this for nothing. Come on, give her some pieces of eight. Well, I feel like I need you. <laughs> so, so right here, I'm a little baby right now, okay? Right now, I'm a little baby saying, hello, give it to me. I got my diaper down, I got it all out, and I'm saying, I'm a little scared, you know, chipmunk that wants uh -huh. you. Give it to me. How do I get it? How do I get the subhumans? Tell me. Breeze can't help me here. Let me tell you a little about myself. I'm, I'm, uh, my dad is a lawyer, okay? He's a, you know, a very liberal lawyer. My mother was involved in voter registration in the South in the 60s. She put her life on the line for causes that she really believed in. My dad sent me character building. <sighs> Apparently I'm easily distracted, but I really, whoa, whoa, she is hot. You suck. But that's okay, you're supposed to suck.
This isn't a talent contest. This is a rite of passage. I mean, this is, happens in all cultures. It's about you being 13 years old. God knew that your voice was going to change when you were 13. There's a reason why you got to do your Haftorah at this age. It's a challenge. God is challenging you. He's calling you a chump. So you got to come back at him. You got to say, hey, Hashem, you think you can scare me with a little uh, biblical Hebrew just because my balls haven't dropped yet? You ever heard of the vice president getting assassinated? No. You know why? It's never happened. Will it ever happen? No way, because who cares? Know what I mean? I love your daughter, Jack. I love her more than anything. But frankly, sir, I'm a little terrified of being your son-in-law. This whole weekend has given me a lot of doubts about whether or not I could even survive in your family. I think you've got some serious issues. Well, this is Wes's moment right now. I'm gonna pick up Glenn Fry in three lines or less. And come tomorrow morning, I'm gonna have Glenn Fry stank all over me. And it's gonna be heaven. What is this? A center for ants? You stay away from my children. Do you understand? Puffy, or Diddy, P, Papa. Papa, Papa Diddy Pop. I'm sorry, I don't know what you're calling yourself these days, but uh, Mr. Daddy. <laughs> Listen, glad you're here in the neighborhood. Welcome. Uh, but this, golf balls through the window? You got a sprinter, five foot five, no pants, unkempt, portly. Hmm, that'll boost sales. While we're at it, why don't I just change my name back to Hitler? I'll tell you something, buddy. There is nothing as good as the love of a good woman. Except ecstasy. You want to do some ecstasy? I thought I told you any money you win pitching pennies goes right to Scoochie's college fund, huh? But you're cutting my document to pieces. I count 30 deletions and changes so far. More than a quarter of the length is gone. Blow me down. Oh! No, I'm not gonna be fine. I'm not gonna be fine at all. And I'm telling you, don't come back to me when you change your mind, because this ship has sailed. Oh, I love that place. They got a couple of waitresses I wouldn't kick out of bed for eating lasagna, if you get what I'm saying. Oh, I love it. Great stuff. Yeah, you look like, uh, just like a rich cowboy who came riding in off the farm. Hey, do me a favor. Tip your hat for it. I, I felt guilty or, or, or something I was and I was just so wrapped up in the envy that I felt for everything you had I mean it's true what they say it's like a little little green monster that comes out and, and, and it just poisoned my head Como están, bitches? Spanish language news is here tonight's top story the sewers run red with burgundy's blood yeah, yeah. it is over between us Kate nobody makes me bleed my own blood Nobody! Thank you! Thank you very much! You guys are great! You're a great crowd! Give yourselves a hand, huh? Thank you! Oh, thank you! Oh, well, thank you! You like bread? Go ahead, shoot me. Come on, do me. Do me. Right now. We can talk in here. What you seek is the pink of destiny. Hello? Hello? Yeah. I will, Peter. I will always be with you. No, it's not okay! We're newlyweds! We just want to have a quiet time together! How can we have any good memories if you guys keep... That doesn't! Fiction! How'd you even get a license? Why, I oughta... 
Oh, hi. Welcome to the North Pole. The name's Stiller. Stiller the Elf. Oh. When we get back to the world, we got to put together that three-piece combo band we yeah. talked about. Yeah, exactly. You know, there were times when I was doing Jack that I actually felt retarded, like really retarded. Oh, yeah. I mean, I brushed my teeth retarded. I rode bus retarded. Goodbye, mama. Now you can have ice cream in heaven. I'll see you tonight when I go to bed in my head movies. But this head movie makes my eyes rain. <laughs> Support it. Come through here through the mask, okay? I can't do it, but you can. Okay, Kenny. Was I imagining it, or were you actually singing with us today? <laughs> Your lips were moving and sound was coming out. Uh, okay. Uh, normally I'd say no because I'm a little OCD, but... Okay. That's great. Are you kids really different from me? I mean, do the movies on the iPods and the facility with MySpace pages make you guys really different? Well, I've got a surprise for you, too. I'm not alone this time. May I introduce the Danger Rat? Megamind's head is not that grossly exaggerated. Uh, he even made a cheap replica of his dehydration gun. How? That was a nice little rehearsal, but I think we need to bump it up a notch. I'm gonna need way more eye contact. No, nobody touches this car but me. You think Steve McQueen's the coolest cat that ever lived? Well, guess what? Today, Steve McQueen is my little bitch. Ah! Ah! Ooh! Ah! Oh! Whoops! Don't worry, I'll have the help come clean that up. Ah, I can't go back to jail, not again! I'm just a little boy! I'm just a little baby boy! Do I know you? I think he's talking to me. Makes home runs, and it makes you nuts the size of raisins. <laughs> Shauna, I'm gonna start calling you Seinfeld because that was a funny observation. <laughs> hey kids, are the grown-ups sleeping? Good, because there's something I want to tell you about. It's about my good friend, Tommy Tumbles. Tommy's not well. Because your parents stole his organs. Gentlemen, we formed the Neighborhood Watch with a very specific task to find the murderer of my friend, Antonio Guzman. Well, tonight, I say to you... The ice, Jace, she moves like a woman. I'm Walter, meet him. Way down yonder in Tennessee, I went a courtin' with a bumblebee. She wore a bonnet made of satin and a dress so blue. I wore a vest and a pumpkin for a shoe. You can do whatever you want, but don't you ever say that I don't care about these kids. Or that what I do has no educational value. Or that I lack character. Because I don't like being told what I already know. Will you make me the happiest furnace and hot water heater repairman in North America by marrying me? Is uh, arthritis a catch-all for some kind of injury to the... Uh... No. My name isn't Del Zone. My name is Del. Del Jacobson. Not Dell hyphen anything. It's been three days since my last fix. Uh, I'm Johnson. I'm Johnson. I just need a little taste. It's sunlight. It pierces my eyes. Mummies are dead, dummy. They don't live anywhere. And I won't sit here and have my integrity impugned by a woman, especially a woman who doesn't understand the nuances of a pyramid scheme. You don't like it? Because I could do a different face. I could put anybody's face on there. I could put your face on her. Wouldn't that be effed? You want, but I could do any expression on her. You want a different expression? I could do uh, surprised. <gasps> Yawn. <laughs> Smells something weird. Ow! You kicked me in the shin! I was disappointed in you for quitting piano. What the fuck is wrong with you? I know it's hard. It's hard for all of us. Get it together! Sometimes I, uh have doubts, worry that people look at me and uh, think of me as a failure, and the feeling passes. 
But now I'm all out of faith. This is how I feel. I'm cold and I'm ashamed and lying naked on the floor. Illusion never changed into something real. I'm wide awake and I can see the perfect sky is torn. Thank you. That printer knew exactly what it was doing. It was always asking me to make a copy. I was saying you handled the situation with events without too much feeling getting in the way. You fired them well. You have brought glory to this company and to me, Keir Egan. I, I love you, but now I must away, for there are others who need me around the world. Goodbye, Heli R, and thank you. Okay, you know what? This is good right here. I mean, the God of War dynamic plays out in every parent-child relationship. When that clicked for me, picked up my Leviathan axe, and fell truly close to my son for the first time. I brought Ramsey Gold with me to work today so we could have some father-son time. Why would I do that? Oh yeah, because it ate my liver forever. That's why. Burns. Jack Burns. My father-in-law. My father-in-law. Burns. Burns. Jack Burns. Candidate for the drug. Obsessed with sex. Mo, the grumpy bartender at Mo's Tavern, is where I spend a lot of my time unwinding with a duff beer. Hello? What is that on your ear? Is that... Is that hair gel? Uh... Yeah. Oh, great, because I can use some. No, 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 don't. I, I just ran out. I, somebody told me I look like Ben Stiller, and so I figured out, I was like, all right, I, I guess he's just a lot of like, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> hey, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Jack, hey, Mr. Hey, oh, whoa, whoa. It's, it's just a lot of, whoa, whoa. You want to come in here? Whoa, whoa, whoa.